Hi guys, doing? Welcome back to the channel in another video. In this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I made a set of coasters. As you guys know, I'm preparing for a show, so I have a whole lot of coasters that I needed to be painted, and I wanted to do one like an homage to the flip cup I did with Doris a couple weeks back. I'm gonna put a card at the top right of the screen and link in the description to that video if you're interested in seeing the way that flip cup came out. Uh, colors I used were Artist Loft Thalo Blue, Cerulean Blue, Neon Yellow, Old Gold, Flow Acrylic Black, Flow Acrylic White, Liquitex Basics, Dioxazine Purple, and Cadmium Red Deep Hue. I really love the combination of these hot and cold colors together, and I think that they create a very striking composition. So right now I'm just layering the cups. I'm trying to layer them in such a way that they don't mix too much, so I'm making sure that it's a very thin stream. I'm not pouring it from too high above the cup, allowing those colors to push through each other. And then I'm interspersing each. The layers that tend to mix, I'm adding a little bit white to make sure that they kind of have a layer between protecting them. So now moving on to my hot colors starting with that deep red. I really love that deep red. It's a gorgeous color. And then I know I'm about to pour in my yellow and gold. I don't want them mixing with the red and creating different colors, so I put a layer of black in between. And you, you guys know me. Metallics are my thing. I love the, the shimmer and the sheen that they provide. Taking a little chance now, mixing that yellow on top of that red. But since it's on the top layer, so it'll be the bottom layer when I flip the cups, there's not as much room for them to mix. So off camera, I taped uh, painter's tape around the edges of the coasters. The reason I like to do that is because it helps me maintain the composition of the paint when I flip the cups. Uh, it stops it from being able to flow over the edges and then it distorts the lines I'm trying to create. So I've come to realize trial and error. If I put tape around the, the edges, it helps me with more control over the composition and the end result. So now I get to flip in my cups. I was very happy with the way they selled up. I'm very happy with the way that the colors flowed out of the cups. Uh, nothing really got muddy. There was no mixing, no, no bad color combinations there. So now I'm just taking my time, my, tilting my coaster slowly, trying to maintain that center line going across the diagonal plane. As you guys can see, the, the tape really helps because where I would have been pouring paint over the sides, it stopped it so that I could bring it back to the center and keep that line the way I want it. Some of the cells in these were just amazing. And I really love the way the hot and the cold colors play with each other. And the... I really love the contrast they provide. The striking contrast they provide sitting right next to each other. What kind of color combination would you guys want to see in one of my future videos? Please give me a comment down below and let me know. I interact with every one of you in my comments and I will definitely respond to your comment. If you give me an idea, I will do it in a future video. I love hearing from you guys. We're like a very small tribe and I appreciate every one of you. So now that I got my composition pretty much the way I want, I'm ready to remove the tape. The first time I did this, it was crazy. It pulled the coasters right out of my hand because I wasn't prepared for it to be as tacky as it was, but okay. So now I'm going around and breaking up the surface tension along the sides of the coasters because if I don't, and I let it flow freely the way it's going to flow, there's going to be bald patches where there's no paint covering. So just to alleviate that and allow the, the paint to flow over the sides evenly. I have to make sure it's completely covered on 
on sides. Overall, these coasters were super satisfying to make. I had a great time. I think these are one of my favorite sets that I've made over the last few days. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab my heat gun, pop any of these bubbles that are left on the surface. I was hoping that I'd get a little bit more cells pushing through uh, with the silicone interacting, but I didn't get too much of that. And now, just like my painting that I did with Doris, I want to draw those fractal lines going through the center. I really love the way the round cells kind of interplay with the very sharp lines. I did have a slight concern that the paint flowing over the side would kind of distort that center line, and it did to a certain degree, but it still maintained those, those sharp lines and edges that I wanted. Overall, I was super happy with the results. Very, very happy. If you're interested in these coasters, the show I'm going to be doing is at Dirtbag Ales in Hope Mills. Come on out if you're in the North Carolina area or you're somewhere close enough where you can come and interact with me. I'd love to hear from one of you guys over there. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your support. Other than that, smash that like button if it's something you're into. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you want to watch another video just like this one, click the screen right now, and I'm going to meet you in that video. And I'll see you in the next one.